Hi guys, this is Dao Su. What's up? I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play today with a game that just got released on Early Access, Shopkeep. Uh, it's very unique, I have to say. Uh, it's still got a few little bugs to be worked out, but uh, it fills the kind of niche that there's not many other games that fill. I've been having a lot of fun with it over the past couple hours, so I thought I would share it with you guys uh, so you could see what you think. We're going to start uh, just by jumping right in. There's about 20 missions that you can play right now. We're going to start on the first step. We have just started a fresh game. Uh, we got up to about level 6 last time. So there's still a lot of stuff I don't necessarily know, but uh, we're just going to be given a basic rundown of the first couple missions. If the Let's Play goes well, we'll probably just go ahead and finish it out with all 20 missions uh, and wait for the next patch to come out. So, uh, this mission is the first step. Welcome, aspiring shopkeeper. Good news, you have inherited this shop. Make some gold. Great. Uh, 25 gold every five minutes. You get taxed. Uh, keep your appeal shop no less than zero. Okay, I don't know how we could keep it less than zero, but anyway. We have quite a big shop starting out. Lots of shelf space. So what we need to do is go into our shopkeeper mode and press Q, which allows us to order some things. And I'm gonna pick up five health potions right off the bat, five mana potions right off the bat. Uh, I don't like shields, they're too big. Swords are also quite big. I'm gonna grab a few gloves, say three, and also a few fabulous mage gloves. Uh, a couple arrows, three, and maybe uh, two wizard hats and two dragon hats. I don't believe I have spaces to put this other stuff uh, from what I've played so far, so we're gonna kinda skip that. So that's a total cost of 302 gold. We have 2,500 gold to start off. Believe me, it gets, uh, it, uh, gets a lot more difficult than this, but just starting out, it kinda gives you the basics uh, with a pretty easy mission. I won't spoil it by telling you exactly what's gonna happen in this first mission. You also have, uh, if you look at the top kind of middle right, you'll see a big K. Those are experience points. Once you get the, well they're not experience points, they're level up points. Your experience points are shown in the bar at the top middle. So once you level up you get some of these K points which then allow you to do various things like you can upgrade your shopkeeper, you can upgrade the portal, which seems to make uh, your items come more quickly. It just arrived, by the way. And then uh, you can get people to steal less. Never zap an innocent customer again. Okay, so you have to watch out uh, for people who want to steal your stuff. And that's a big part of the game. So we're going to start off by um, pricing these items. You press the plus button. If you look on the bottom right-hand corner, you can see the price going up. I would like to sell these for two gold. So I think we need to get up to 150 for it to round up. Great. So that will actually price all of our items at 150%. So it's quite a little markup, but it's not enough to where people won't buy the stuff. So we have lots of space, lots of space here for these fabulous gloves. I don't know that it really matters where you put stuff, except certain items can only fit in certain spaces. So that's, uh, so yeah, I just used that whole table for <laughs> one set of arrows that's gonna make me two gold. Uh, you can put hats on these racks, which is good. I guess we'll put that one there. Okay, uh, we already have kind of stocked our store up. We are going to order a few more things. Uh, I'll order some boots, both plate and armored. Uh, and I'll grab a few studded gloves and how about a sword or two? All right, so we'll place that order, that'll be our backup, and we'll go ahead and open the store to the customers. Now once the customers start coming, you do have to worry about several things. Uh, first of all, they are incredibly filthy, filthy people in this town. It's unbelievable, you'll see. But as soon as they walk in the door, they start just smearing shit all over the floor. So you have to press this uh, <laughs> broom button and uh, get to sweeping. You can already see, man. You guys are filthy pigs. Uh, you also have to watch out for people who are going to steal your stuff, like this guy. Oh, I see, I killed an innocent person. Now everyone runs out of the store, so I kind of messed up. He looked like he was stealing. 
I assume he was. He was running all sneakily. So you gotta kill the people that uh, steal your stuff without killing the innocent people. When you kill the innocent people, it seems you take some kind of uh, reputation hit. I'm not quite sure how that works, but... Um, pretty much selling out of stuff, leveling up. Things are going well. Should get my second uh, package here. Hesitant to stop minding the store because you know people will steal. Put some boots there, some boots there. Couple gloves around. Slap a sword down here or two. Yeah, great. And keep an eye out. Let's start sweeping. Watch you guys. Don't want to let them steal your stuff. That's a big no-no. Seems like everyone is uh, behaving okay for the time being. You can kind of tell they're all, they are, they kind of get this weird look on their face and crouch down, and that's how you know they're about to steal something. Uh, looks like we're doing pretty well. We might need to order some more potions, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. The store keeps going as you're ordering though, so you know you're probably going to get jacked a few times. We get 10 of each, we got the money. Place the order. And yeah, so that'll be good. Takes a while for stuff to show up. And in the meantime I guess we'll just kind of sweep ap after these filthy, filthy heathens here. Should've, I should have stayed in New York. You chaw bacons and your smudgy little... Anyway. I think we're going to uh, get our package here now. We should. Yeah, we've got it. So let's place these items. Got plenty of space. We'll save the um, table space. Get out of the way. A little clogged up here. Can you move? Seriously? Can't jump apparently, uh, which makes it kind of hard to get around these clogged spaces. But that's okay. We'll just kind of throw everything out. Placement doesn't seem to matter as long as you're reserving uh, some space for bigger items, which, you know, we're really not. I uh, hate to break it to you guys, but what you do in this first mission doesn't really matter all that much. It's just kind of an opportunity for you to learn the game mechanics. Because in a second our whole shop's going to get pretty much taken out. And that guy just stole something. Great. Again, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Okay, so I just scared everyone out by pulling my sword. Which apparently you're not supposed to do. Shopkeeping 101. Just don't kill the innocent customers. Could use some more wizard hats and such. Seems I'm not really turning a profit. I don't know why. I started off with 25. But I have got some levels. I'm level 3 now. Let's order some more hats. For the uh, mages and for the warriors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And one, two, three, four, five. We'll place that order. That'd be great. Man, you guys are dirty. Really? Really? You just walk and shit all day. And then you come in here. Steal my stuff. Smear your little dirty feet all over the ground. Alright, so we're out of potions again. Yeah, my order's ready. Since that one is ready, I guess we'll go ahead and order potions again. Re-up on that. We'll get ten of each, since we don't seem to have a problem moving them. Place that order. Oh, we have a lot of tax outstanding. We're going to pay that. Alright. Okay, so now the barbarians have shown up and destroyed our entire shop. Uh, so that's the first mission. At first I thought, oh my god, what do I do uh, to stop the barbarians? But um, apparently you can't stop them. Not to spoil the game for you. I don't know what happens, but that's the first mission. 
Uh, you kind of have an easy setup and it allows you to play around with the mechanics some. And then from here, we're going to kind of start the real game. So we'll save that for a, a second episode. If you guys are interested in this game, uh, you can check out further episodes. I encourage you to subscribe. I'm kind of a new Let's Player, but I'm doing strategy games mostly. I like Endless Legends and EU4 and Civilization and all that kind of stuff. But I saw this game today and thought it would probably make a pretty cool Let's Play uh, for me since I'd like to start doing some kind of newer relevant games as well. Uh, I am Dalsu, Dalsu Plays. Thank you, and please watch the next video.